Hey YouTube country girl here. Um, just wanting to make a kind of a short video here and just show a couple things that I've seen, found recently. Um, first thing I got it on this search engine right here. Uh, just was curious the other day thinking about all the chemtrails and everything and wondering, you know, um, do they have a weather modification site in uh, in Kentucky and sure enough I found one and it's called Elizabethtown AWOS A W O S right there and I'm sorry but my camera's not real good so I can't really show you real well but I just want to kind of show you and then um, I'm going to provide the links for everything if anybody's interested I know that most of my subscriptions um are not kentucky people and you probably don't have a lot of interest in this but i like to try to do a little you know digging around locally too and find out you know i think it's really good for us to start in our own hometowns and find out what's going on in our own hometowns and that leads us to become more informed you know throughout the whole nation um Anyway, I mean that's just kind of my kind of my thought the way I've been going here lately, the way I've been thinking about things. But uh, right here is the address. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it's not gonna really let me, but <laughs> it's uh, 1848 Kitty Hawk Drive, and Kitty Hawk Drive instantly told me it's at an airport, and sure enough, um, oh and. Before I go to the map, I'm going to show you the map of it, uh, but or I may not, I don't know. You can just find that all in the link if you want, but, you know, the next uh, search tab down from that one, it tells you that it is a weather modification service, and you can go to their website, and, and it tells you, you know, what it's about and everything, so, um, my... I apologize, but my camera is just really kind of crappy, so, you know, just go check out the link if you want, if you're interested in it, um, and I'll just move on from that and, um, tell you about a news story that I heard yesterday morning on the way to work, and it was funny to me because I heard it on you know, SRN News, I don't know if anybody knows what that is or not, but it's on SRN News, and uh, it was the guy who was reporting was like, this is a pretty unusual story, and that's how he started out, he was like, you know, he said the word unusual, and I'm like, wow, I can't believe this guy has said this, I gotta tone, you know, turn the volume up and see what he's talking about, so apparently, the Kentucky National Guard has chosen the Brown Hotel in downtown Louisville, which is a really old historic hotel, to do a training exercise, which actually started today, and it's going through, what's it, I don't know, it says it on here somewhere, but I'm not sure, oh, it's two, it's a two-week hospitality training service, um, and it's at the Brown Hotel. And I'm going to have to learn how to do the screen capture thing. I, I'm still new to YouTube. So y'all be bear with me. But I'm going to provide a link to this just like anything else. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just found this really interesting. Especially the way the newscaster is saying, you know, it's unusual. And I mean, to me, it's very unusual. You know, why would they be training at a hotel? If you read the... Uh, if you read the, the 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 thing here that I found, it says the Brown Hotel has been chosen as a site for a two-week hospitality service training program for a special team of soldiers serving in the Kentucky National Guard. The 617th Military Police will use the training to operate a military-run hotel in Iraq reserved for government officials and international dignitaries. So, basically, um, we're going to train y'all for two weeks on how to kiss the butt of 
politicians and dignitaries when they come over to, you know, so phone, be so phony and thank you for your service that you've been doing for ever how many years now in a place that doesn't want us around and we don't need to be in at all. Um, anyway, that's their official story. That's their official reason. I mean, and I could go on and read the whole article, but y'all can just read it and check it out if you want. I find it really, really weird. I mean, it says that uh, the 617th Military Police Company falls under the command of the 198th Military Police Battalion, um, which is part of the 149th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade. And it says that it is um, deployed in support of Operation New Dawn. So, I don't know. I mean, it, it may be nothing. It may be what I said. Maybe they're just training them how to kiss butt and show them the old southern Kentucky hospitality when they go to visit the Sand Hotel in Iraq. But, you know, it could be training them on how to keep people in lockdown in a hotel if they need to, you know. So, you put your spin on it, however, whatever you think. Um, what I think is real funny is the training started today, and um, last night in Louisville, I mean, there's it's not funny. I mean, nobody got hurt, so I'm glad, but there's tornadoes in Louisville last night, uh, damage to Churchill Downs. So, sure enough, you know, military's right on spot, but the, I don't guess the tornadoes were very... They weren't weren't very destructive or anything. Like I say, nobody got hurt. I think nine barns got destroyed, but I don't know. Uh, if you click on this link that I'm going to leave leave you for the Kentucky National Guard, it'll it also has some stuff over here on the news about the tornadoes that touched down and damaged the barns. So I just, I mean, you know me and my. My awake self just instantly thought that it was pretty crazy, you know, that a, a tornado hits town right when the National Guard shows up to do their training. So, just thought that was pretty funny. Um, and my computer is going to stand by, but that's okay. It don't matter because what I wanted to say right here at the end was um, tomorrow is the hey Miko say hi to everybody that's my dog that's my great great dog right there tomorrow is when Nancy Pelosi and John Boehner and all those other criminal politicians are coming to Lexington you know I tried to get protests started up and didn't get a real uh, very good you know feedback very good responses on that but you know, I'm going to go down there. I'm really hoping that people are going to be down there. It's If you are anybody in Kentucky who's interested, it's at Transylvania University at 7.30 tomorrow night. They're all going to be speaking. And um, I'm sure just dishing out more of their garbage lies. Um, the event costs $15 if you want to attend or... You can stand out free, outside for free and heckle them, which is probably what I want to do. Um, it's at the Hagen Auditorium in Transylvania uh, campus. And that's downtown Lexington, uh, down on 3rd Street in Lexington. But anyways, um, like I say, just a real quick one. And uh, everybody be safe out there. Keep your heads up. Later on.